What's up YouTube, Mike here with another video and today I wanted to give my review of the iPad Mini 5. Now yes, this thing has been out for close to a year now, maybe even already a year, but I picked it up and let me tell you why. All right, so here we go with the iPad Mini 5. Essentially this design has been unchanged since the iPad Mini 1 with the exception of the Touch ID, um, but Having said that, this is still by far the best small tablet you can get. And obviously, like I said, this has got the older design, but I don't mind that because of the performance and the portability. So that's why I bought it. Um, this is still rocking the A12 Bionic, three gigs of RAM. And I know, yes, that chip is an older chip, but at the same time, that's one thing Apple is just excellent at is their chips so this thing even though it's got a older processor will still just chew up 4k video i've already edited uh, numerous videos on this in 4k the video you're watching right now is going to be edited on this device and i have to say that um, it definitely keeps up and it does better at video editing than my ipad pro 12.9 inch first gen and second gen so i ran a a little speed test on this where I edited a 10 minute 4k video and it did it faster than real time so the video again was 10 minutes and it did it in like nine ish so pretty dang impressive uh, for something that is so small I mean this thing is just ridiculously compact I can hold it in one hand um, which I like quite a bit so that's why I bought this I use it as a essentially my flashcards. I use it to put all my study PDFs on, and it just works perfect for that. Fits in my bag, fits in my pocket really if I wanted to. So, and I'm also using it as a super compact mobile video editor. Now, like I mentioned, the specs of this already, it's essentially unchanged from previous generations as far as outwardly. Um, but as far as the internals, like I said, it's the A12 Bionic now. Um, works like it should. It's got a 7.9 inch display, which they did upgrade. It's got the, they call it a retina true tone, but no complaints with the display. I mean, I have a matte screen protector on it, which you can't tell, but I just like screen protectors, especially if I'm going to use the Apple pencil. So this also now does support the first gen Apple pencil. And ironically, when I was searching to try and pick another one up, they're still charging like a hundred bucks to get a first gen Apple pencil. So I found this guy right here it's uh it was like 25 bucks on amazon i'll post a link and it works excellent um it works just as good as the apple pencil with the exception is um if you're drawing i noticed that it didn't seem to support um, varying degrees of pressure but um for note taking this is perfect if you're not an artist uh, you just want to take notes on your ipad mini then 25 bucks you can't beat it now, as far as the cameras on this thing, it's got an eight megapixel, uh, eight megapixel rear camera, which is essentially the same camera as the iPad Mini 4. It's not great. It'll do 1080p video at 30, but really, if Apple is going to put a good camera on an iPad, I think it should be the iPad Mini because this is the one I think that you're more likely to use to shoot video, just because of its size. Now, the front camera they did upgrade um it's more than fine for facetiming you know video chat whatever it's seven megapixels um but it seems to do it does the job you know you're not gonna break any video or photo records with this thing but it does what it's supposed to now for me personally other than the size of this thing and the performance the price was fairly compelling to me so this starts at 349 bucks now that's for the wi-fi only model and it'll get you 64 gigabytes of storage which for most people that's going to be absolutely fine so you can also like i said you can find these on sale you just got to search amazon um, ebay and the other sites even apple once in a blue moon might have a sale but definitely at bnh or amazon you can find these on sale so i'll post a link again and from there i even recommend amazon renewed if you can find it because Again, you get that 90 day warranty and you're gonna save some money. But again, based on the specs, the price is gonna go up. So you can either get, like I said, 64 gigabytes of storage, which is the base model, or you can go up to 256 gigabytes. And that's the cap 
of the storage. But that 256 gigabytes is going to cost you $549. But if you want to opt for the cellular model, just add $130 to each configuration. But really, I think for most people, the 329 is going to be a sweet spot um, for this device, unless you are doing like video editing, and then you're going to want the greater storage. But I really can't say enough about the performance of this and the battery life. So as always, Apple touts about 10 hours of battery life, and um, they're usually not wrong. So um, depending on what you're doing, obviously, if you're playing like an intense game, PUBG or whatever, it's not going to last that long. If you're doing an extended drawing session, video editing, it's not going to last that long. But if you're just watching videos, surfing the Internet, whatever, you're definitely going to get that 10 hours or even more to based on your screen brightness. Now, with this, they opted for uh, three color options. You get your gold, your space gray, and your silver. Um, this one I have a case on. I don't want to take it off. Um, but this one's space gray, but I like this. I don't even know what brand this case is, but it's a, it's a spidging case. But again, the link in the description if you're interested. It's got a nice little kickstand, but I like putting my stuff in a case um, just because I use this at work and I don't want to drop a new iPad, crack a screen. So there you go. But um, tons of accessories. And the cool thing is because essentially this form factor is not changed for years now, like literally years, any of your old Apple iPad mini accessories are going to fit this. So if you got an older case from an older gen model, it will fit this. And again, just like the iPad mini 4, uh, it's probably the same sensor. This has got Touch ID, which I didn't realize how much I missed Touch ID until I started using it again. I mean, it's fast, it's accurate, it's accurate. It essentially works first time every time. So I do like the Touch ID, like I said. My biggest complaint about this iPad, which rumors are pointing toward the one that is coming out next year, is that they're going to get rid of the bezels, keep the same form factor, and, improve, and put Face ID in it. Which, if they do that, then, you know, shut up and take my money. Because I love this form factor, but it is such a waste of screen real estate having these giant bezels uh, on the sides. Um, it's just comically um, bad how old the front design looks. So the rear, obviously, it still looks like a smooth, nicely built iPad. But as far as the front of this thing, it's almost an embarrassment that Apple put this out with that form factor as far as not getting rid of those bezels from literally, I think the first iPad mini came out way back in like 2009-ish, maybe even before that. Yeah, it was before that. Um, so it's been over 10 years that they've kept this design so but again <clears throat> performance is going to blow any android tablet out of the water i mean you can't you can't deny it as far as in this size range i mean there's no tablet on the planet that's as powerful as this is in this form factor so um i love samsung i love samsung tablets because they allow you to do more but as far as raw performance cpu power this thing is just going to crush it it's just the way it is um and really, there's not a whole lot of tablets in this size range right now. Um, you can get a little Amazon kind of $50, whatever they call it, Fire HD, which are similar in size, but obviously those things are nowhere near the performance of this. But if you don't need that performance, then, you know, obviously those are probably going to be a better option. But with iPad, the same old story is app support. This has you know the best app support on the planet i mean apple they've really been able to entice their developers so there's going to be about any app you could ever want for this and obviously this is full ipad os so you can do all the things you can do on an ipad pro with this as far as um, the feature set so you can use a mouse and keyboard with this which i've already tried you can hook it to a monitor and if apple does what some of the rumors are saying with the latest update that's coming in the fall then they may have actual external monitor support where instead of having it being cropped on the sides where it's kind of pointless where it'll actually use that monitor and span it so if that's the case then you could plug this little guy in and uh, essentially use it as a desktop so that would be really interesting to see if they do that so there you go this is an oldie but goodie but i bought it 
just for my use case, which is doing a lot of flashcards and using it as an e-reader for PDFs. And I have started doing video editing on this just because it works so well. So that's why I bought it. I think the price is right at $329 if you don't need that extra storage. Um, so there you go. If you got any questions on this tablet or anything else, just make sure you shoot it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. And if you like this video, helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Thanks.